Welcome back, brothers and sisters, Braden, Tim, Second Legacy, and you're amazing. And thank you so much for tuning in today. We have got to show you something that we caught on a local level. You guys remember that invisible mass shooting that the media never covered and it never happened, although it did happen, but it can't happen? You know, that one. Well, it turns out that the district attorney in that area has some really interesting thoughts, particularly around the ATF and the DOJ and how they are not doing anything, which interestingly stacks on some other stories that we've covered. That's what we're going to break down. You guys are going to love every second of this. And if you do, please make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn the notification bell on because this is the place where the two-way content comes in, humor, sarcasm, analysis, commentary, and goes right back out for easy consumption. It always goes down smooth. And with that, Tim, are you ready? Mm -hmm. Tennessee. Let's hear Invisible it. Invisible mass shooting. Okay. Uh, right into it, huh? Yeah, let's just get not, into it. Not, okay, let's just dive in. Okay, we're not even warming up. I love it so much. Uh, Dr. Slides, could you throw number 12 for us? Now, it is illegal under federal law. And for that reason, our office often tries to refer Glock switch cases over to the federal system. In fact, as part of Project Safe Neighborhoods, every week, our prosecutors meet with people from the U.S. Attorney's Office and see what kind of cases can be referred, including a lot of these block switch cases. But they would acknowledge, and we're grateful for their assistance, they would acknowledge, and we acknowledge, that they can't take all these block switch cases. Right? A lot of them still have to be prosecuted under the state system. What? That's weird, because it's a federal law that's being violated, Tim. Yeah, but I've talked about this before. I mean, many times the Whoa. states will actually bring these charges themselves, because a lot of state law mirrors federal law, right? <clears throat> and so... Uh, but not in Tennessee, though. Right. So the, not all states mirror federal law. And so many times, I, I would say probably the majority of people that are prosecuted for NFA violations, just your run of the mill, they were out in the woods hunting deer and the DNR came <laughs> up. Run and, of the mill. Yeah, and you're run of the you're mill out there NFA with your M60 run of the mill belt fed machine gun having a good time. And this dude taps yeah, you on the run shoulder. Of the mill, whatever. Yeah, you know, and you, it's just like, shuk, 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 shuk. What, am I doing something wrong over here, officer? But anyway, so um, <laughs> those types of things are, are generally prosecuted at the state level. Now, every once in a while, they'll get kicked up to the federal level if it's like some big investigation, to, you know, cross state lines, gun trafficking, or if you want to go after a YouTuber like CRS Firearms, then, then the feds boys will get involved because right. they want to make, you know, a show of the thing. But generally speaking, it's just the state that, that winds up prosecuting some of these cases but it sounds like yeah. he's kind of caught between a rock and a hard spot here uh atf's yeah. like yeah we, we don't have the resources and he's like well uh, yeah i guess we'll have to do some of them too well this this would be the u.s attorney though this would be doj yeah this wouldn't even be atf atf enforces it the prosecutorial responsibility falls to the doj they're right. not even doing it bro i know and you remember yeah the other story that we covered around chicago remember that where chicago had like the most air quotes, gun violence on record, but they had the least acceptance of all yes. U.S. federal court. Yeah. Isn't that interesting how but, the problems but, are there, but they, they don't... This is an easy weird. fix, Braden. It's truly an easy fix. Oh, just get on board. We just need more yeah. gun control laws. Don't, ah. don't focus on the fact that none of the existing laws are enforced. We just need more. You know what? No. Okay, look, let's just be honest. Let's just go straight here, past here the gun go. control law and just turn them in, folks. Uh -huh. Come on, Mr. and Mrs. America. Oh, Feinstein. Thank you. Wow. Yeah. And if I, I had know that 51 quote. Yeah, I know. Oh, I know. yeah. Come on, Mr. and Mrs. America. Well, just turn them in. It, it's for the children. We can stop childhood cancer and plane crashes if we just turn them in. Every bit of it. Yeah. We can actually uh, stop global warming if we turn and guns in. Stop global warming. Yes. Yes. And we can. We can. We can stop the cow pollution. farts go away. That's right. You know, Absolutely. You, get, you turn in the Glock, the cow fart. The cow stop farting. The cows are farting because the Glock and the gunfire is scaring them and it makes them fart. I That's fart right. when I get scared. It does. So do you? Absolutely. OK. I was waiting for a soundboard fart. I don't think we have one. <laughs> <laughs> we do. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway. Dude. Okay, what were on. we talking wanna, about? I, what, what is this I episode I, about? I can get us. I can get us back. Okay. I can get us back. We're good. I love the fact that we just went down that road and neither one of us blinked, broke, didn't do anything. It was just kind of like, yeah, absolutely, sure, me too, of course. <laughs> <laughs> that that was impressive. Anyway. Um, no, so well, let me, let me take us back to where we've been. We'll get back there. Okay. So. First of all, we made a pit stop at what you got there, son. Oh, nothing. Just your run of the mill NFA <laughs> item in the middle of the woods. And then we uh, go right back to Glock switches being federally illegal, but not being prosecuted by the feds and being kicked down to the state level because the feds aren't doing anything. And then for, therefore, we need more gun control laws because Glock switches are bad. And yeah. therefore, we need more of them. We're That's so backed we're up with, so, with cases. We just need more laws to put more people in front of the judge. So we have more cases. Exactly. That's how we fix exactly. this. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Well, this guy. <laughs> 
It's an interesting approach, though, because this guy, while he's still trying to maintain the political acumen of like, well, um, they don't do crap, but we're grateful for the crap that they do do. <laughs> right. But they still don't do crap, and they would even acknowledge they don't do crap, but we love the crap they do. I mean, it's just, please they, don't be mad, but I mean, just say it, but don't be mad. When they finally do something, we really like that. But most of the time, they won't do, do anything. But yeah, you know, but you know what, folks? Just more gun control, and then this will work. It just, yeah, no, no, it's The so reason great. I'm not prosecuting so enough cases is because we don't have enough laws on the books. We just need a few more laws. Obviously. It'll make everything better. Obviously. Well, let's, I got one more for us on this one. This might be a shorter episode. This is the last one. This is number 13, and then we'll kick it. I want to acknowledge that there is a right under the proper circumstances for citizens to arm themselves for public safety. But no one needs to have a machine gun for self-defense. And the fact that we have so many of these is something that we need to be very, very concerned about. Um... If you do own one of these Glock switches, you're not owning it for self-defense. You're very likely up to no good, and you need to be punished. Hmm. Well, I guess that means police and military don't need machine guns then, because they're no good for self-defense. Um, but they're no good. But here, here, you know, here, here, this is this is this guy's a, either a reformed gun grabber or is sitting on the fence somewhere, or just playing politics. Because you know, the gun grabbers will will tell us that you know these these weapons are. Uh, weapons of war, and they have no place on our streets, and all this other stuff. We've we've joked about that, and of course, and right. and, and then he and, and they'll they'll make the argument that uh, well, the Second Amendment um, is, is really about hunting. That you know, well, nobody needs an AR-15 to hunt deer. Nobody needs this for hunting. And and people rightfully say uh, it's not about hunting, sweetheart. It, it's about more than that. And then you have this guy who's a little bit further towards the center saying. Well, it's not really about, they're not good for self-defense. Um, so you, d you don't really need it. Well, pumpkin, it's not about self-defense either. It, it's, it's about putting a check and balance on the government. If the government can own it, the people should be able to own it. That's how you keep the power of the government in the hands of the people. If you disarm the people and you give an unfair advantage to the adversary, which is the government, we have an adversarial system of government, uh, then that, un that, then the balance is skewed and then tyrants can tyrant. So you're almost there. You just need to do a little bit more constitutional reading, my friend. Anyway. That's true. No, no. You know what I love about that, though? Hmm. I love the way that he couched that. Um, the, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to focus on the, the sides of the couch because <laughs> the middle was pretty clear. Machine gun's bad. That's pretty much his point. But on the other side, I love how he led that and prefaced it where he's like, there are some circumstances <laughs> where you can have a gun for self-defense. Very few, but some. Yeah. No, cupcake. <laughs> that's not that's not actually accurate you're born and with the right others, to have a gun <laughs> exactly yeah. but there's some but there's just some and that it's appropriate yeah man i i want you stop talking but anyway yeah then on the other side <laughs> you've got and if you own one of these glock switches you are obviously up to, to no, no good. good and you should definitely be punished because you know without doing something yeah, machine gun equals bad intentions well what about all the people out there that have legal machine guns do they also have bad intentions does the 200 dollars uh, tax take away the bad intention uh, yes, what, you what, know. what are you saying here dumb dumb it's like <laughs> seriously it's like well <laughs> people Let's that have machine intent. guns are just bad people we we have right. hundreds of thousands of people with machine guns uh legally sir uh they were a bad person in another life. I'm a reincarnationist. Uh, but the two hundred <laughs> the, the two hundred dollar tax absolves them of, of of past sins. Well, let's charge exactly. the guys with Glock switches two hundred dollars and give them amnesty. No, no, they Ooh. they have bad intentions. No, 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 they have bad uh, intentions. They do. Yeah, it's like, you I, didn't know you didn't know that taxes pures all sins. Yeah, just a tax. It's, it, it, it's it, like a political indulgence. You know what? That. Yeah, you know it is. Uh, taxes, they fix the environment. You know, it's like, well, you know, we, yeah. we're all going to die. It's an existential threat. We're all going to die because a storm's going to blow us off the continent. But if we tax you more, yeah. problem solved. Anyway. So easy. Anyway, so, yeah, the, this guy, clearly he's talking in circles. And it's kind of funny to watch him dance that fine line where he's trying not to upset uh -huh. his federal partners because <laughs> they tend to be a little vindictive. And then uh, and then he's, you yeah, know, a little. Yeah. It's not our fault, folks. We kick it up there, but they just don't have the bandwidth. But anyway, all right. Well, that was fun. Anyway, thanks for watching Second Legacy, folks. We'll talk to you guys soon.